ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device. Tensions once again heating up between Palestinians and Israeli forces. On Tuesday, at least 22 people were arrested after Palestinians clashed with Israeli forces near the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem's old city. According to police, Palestinians were throwing stones at passing vehicles. Security forces had to use riot control measures to restore calm, and buses had to alter their routes to avoid the disturbances in the capital. And so joining us now to discuss the new uptick in violence is Itamal Marcus, founder and director of Palestinian Media Watch. Welcome. Hi, uh, thank you. So let's start with what exactly is going on in Jerusalem? Why this new round of violence? It's not really a new round of violence. It's uh, there have been pauses in the violence that uh, the Palestinian Authority initiated a number of months ago. The violence was initiated by Mahmoud Abbas because he had canceled the Palestinian Authority elections. Um, the polls showed that he was guaranteed to lose. Fatah was going to lose. Hamas was going to rule in uh, both the West Bank and uh, Gaza. He canceled elections. There was a lot of anger. He started the violence. He even, he even initiated the violence before he actually announced the cancellation. Um, polls have shown that he is the lowest he has ever been in popularity. Um, after the war, after the Hamas war with Israel, uh, close to 80% of the Palestinian population wanted him to resign. Uh, there was a lot of uh, criticism of him. One of the chief critics of him was arrested and then killed during the interrogations, and that made him even less popular. Uh, whenever Abbas or any Palestinian leader uh, has lost the, the popularity of his people, he starts terror against Israel, um, usually claiming it's in defense of Jerusalem. Uh, that's what he started in April and May in June, uh, and it has never really stopped. He is still weak, uh, so he is constantly pushing for more violence. Uh, we don't know if those people there, how many of them are being literally sent by Fatah operatives, we don't know. But uh, we know by his statements in the media, Abbas needs the violence and wants the violence. And when he does, he usually gets a low level of violence. So you're saying he's essentially inciting against Israel for his own benefit. Does this, I mean, does this mean that, that there's going to be an increase in violence, that this is going to continue? Does this look like we're, going, we're headed for another round of, of you know, major escalation, perhaps? I don't think it's going to be a major escalation because of the very simple reason that the Palestinian population doesn't like him anymore, doesn't try, not, not that they ever liked him, but he's, he's lost the most popularity. He's not going to get masses of people to go out now um, and start fighting against Israel. They just won't listen to his call. But he can get 20, 30, 40 uh, Fatah activists or even 100 of them, uh, if they really work at it, to, get, to go out to the... Um, to the, uh, to the walls, to the gates of the old city, tell them that they're going out to defend Jerusalem, and enough people will believe just to keep the, the violence simmering. Now, there's also been reports of escalations within Israeli prisons. Of course, last month we saw the, the prisoner escape and the riots uh, surrounding that. What can you tell us about the escalations now that are happening in the prisons? Here as well, we see the Palestinian Authority is encouraging it. Like I said, anything, anything connected to violence that will distract the Palestinians from their anger at Abbas, he would be happy with. Uh, we're seeing, uh, uh, maybe not daily, but number of our, a number of articles a week um, defending the Palestinian prisoners, accusing Israel of abusing the prisoners, of us doing, uh, harming the prisoners. Over the years, we've had numerous examples that Israel is doing medical experiments on the prisoners. Um, in fact, in the last few days, the Palestinian Authority has started uh, showing uh, on TV these little fillers of about 30 seconds long, which are compared, they're, they're actually cartoons, which compare Israeli soldiers to the coronavirus. And basically what they're saying is, we have two enemies that are attacking our prisoners. One of them is the coronavirus, and one of them is the Israeli soldier. Again, it's terrible demonization. Uh, describing Israeli soldiers as deadly, describing the prison authorities as, as a deadly threat to Palestinians. Uh, and this is done, again, to increase anger so that he can get uh, people fighting outside the prisons. And by the way, 
Palestinian prisoners are watching Palestinian TV. And if they see encouragement from the outside, it also encourages them inside to, to protest and be violent, uh, especially prisoners who are serving life sentences. They have nothing to lose by being violent. So all incitement coming from the Palestinian leadership. Itamal Marcus, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you very much. Have a good day.